Oh, there you are, YouTube. So today was a heavy work day for me. Lots and lots of work and even more work. I just found out that I had to do, like, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. I don't have to get it done tonight or anything, but it's just gonna mean the next couple days are going to be very work heavy. And hopefully I can prepare for that and film something earlier in the day, which I did not do today because I didn't realize how heavy the uh, upcoming workload was going to be. So today's going to be me rambling, probably thinking about uh, s certain movies and um, I don't know, maybe, you know, I, I have this trusty book that I like to pull out in times like these, this obsolete DVD and video guide here. This one is from 2005 and basically it's to help you go to the video store and find a movie. So, or I don't know, is that the purpose of this thing? Yeah, what what do I rent tonight? Use this best-selling book to help you rent a movie. So I don't know what the, do you bring this to the rental store, the video store, do you bring this with you? and then find a movie and then look it up and see how these people rank it? Mick Martin and Marsha Porter? Oh wait, huh? Yeah, do we look at them to tell us whether or not we should rent these movies? Because I feel like the back of a VHS, back of a DVD or Blu-ray, which was, you know, not here, DVD and video, will give you enough information. Maybe not, because that's more of the plot, but I feel like that would help. But who are these critics <laughs> to tell you, you know? I mean, do you bring this in with your Leonard Maltin book, with your um, uh, Roger Ebert book, you know? How, how, many, how many people, I guess, I don't know, if you trust these people, then maybe that's it. You develop a trust for what they are saying about films so therefore you bring this with you and then you see a movie on the wall you're like you know what that one looks interesting the back sounds interesting let's see what Mick and Marsha had to say about this movie so you look it up in here like let's say we just found the film let's see if there's one on this page that I know because this, this has a lot, of, a lot of stuff in it I don't know. Has, what does it say? Um, 18,000 movies in here. So yeah, a lot of these I have not seen. But let's see if there is one. I'm in the L section. Here, let me sit down here, get a little bit more comfortable. I'm in the L section. Love. Let's see, a movie, or maybe, maybe a movie that I don't know. Like, here's one. Lovers on a Bridge, a 1992 film. They, they gave it four stars, so, you know, maybe I'll give that one a look. Lovers on the Bridge. Should I read this to you? The font is too small. My eyes are too weak. I was just staring at a computer for, for way too long. I can read the titles because they are in bold but I cannot, I can't really make out. I mean, I can. Okay, here's one. Loose Shoes, which came out in 1977. It looks like Bill Murray is in it, and Buddy Hackett, the voice of Scuttle and The Little Mermaid. They gave that a turkey. So if they are, you know, they go by stars, up to five stars, but... If you get one star, they they put a turkey emblem on there. So, like Lord of the Rings over here has five stars. Um, oh, but the Lord of the Rings, the animated... Is that the animated one? Yeah, they gave that one a turkey. Look at that. Let's see if I can pick that up. Oh, sorry. You know, this is a one take, so it's going to be a little messy. Right here, come on. Focus. Focus. Right there. You, you can't see it, can you? 
Anyway, it says Lord of the Rings, the animated version, is a turkey. That's what that blob is that you're seeing right there. And this one gives five stars. I hope you stuck around during all of that. I know that was just a bunch of blurry text. And if you did stick around, I thank you. And I, I appreciate that. It's, uh, you know, I try to get five minutes in. I don't always get uh, quality material. Today's the day I probably didn't get quality material. But now you know. In this book, the DVD and video guide of 2005, movies written about by Mick and Marsha, they said that the animated Lord of the Rings film was only good for a turkey, but that other one... I didn't even see which one of the trilogy it was. Uh, I don't know. They gave five stars. So you can see the range when it comes to Lord of the Rings. Just because it is Lord of the Rings doesn't mean it's good. It's how it's made that decides whether or not it's good. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and sticking around to the end if you did that. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.